voluntary community and social enterprise sector around here is invaluable. It has a long history of contribution. It's well organised by comparison to other places. I learned this when I was on the Regional Development Agency. And without it, there would be a lot of service that ordinary folk get that wouldn't be there. So it is absolutely necessary and deserves support. There's only one quick way to make sure that whatever we're doing is informed by local people, and that's talking to them. And I think that requires some of an administration uh, organisation. I am absolutely concerned that we should have groups of people that are in contact with the Metro Mayor and, and the Mayor's office, and that we're listening and able to share experiences and desires. That's the way to start it. Then we start to set some targets and make steady steps into making it work. The greater significance about this job, it is that we should seize the chance to bring power closer to the people, to the people that affects and for the local voice to be heard. Uh, inequalities are unacceptable and we have a long, long road to get that changed, but it is from this job the great step forward could be made. It is about bringing power back to the, to the locality. I'm glad you've asked for the first year, not the first hundred days. The first thing in the first, in, that, in the first year is to get the local authorities to work together with the Metro Mayor to identify a common purpose. And one of those things, which, which affects everybody, is the creation of a combined transport authority. We have to get the transportation issues sorted so that people can afford to get on public transport, can afford to move around, can afford and, and uh, be confident about getting to and from their jobs.